when it comes time to stud your machine, there's a few things that you need to consider before you go ahead and start installing studs into your track. Here's a few good tips to help you along the way. We have uh, actually four different families of studs. Uh, we have our Traction Master, which is a top of line stud. It has our patented track trapping head on it, full one inch, and it's concaved and it traps the rubber between the head and the backer very well. We have our, uh, our Megabyte stud, which is our middle of the road type stud. Uh, the performance guys really like it because it has four flat edges on the tip. Uh, if they run a lot of ice and stuff like that, they really see the benefits to that. Uh, we have our, our stainless steel signature series stud that's more of our entry level or utility type stud for more of the non-aggressive type people that are just looking to add some safety to their sled. And then we have uh, the, the Grand Master, which has got a one inch, uh, 200 thousandths diameter head. It's built for the new Skidoo uh, single ply uh, tracks. It used to be years ago, um, studs were something that only the performance guys uh, used. We sell more studs to people for safety than anything else. It helps you stop in half the amount of distance as a sled that isn't studded. When I'm on the tech line, somebody says, well, how many studs should I have? First thing I want to do is find out you know, what kind of riding style they are. If they're an aggressive rider or if they're just a touring type rider, um, what happens is if somebody was to put 192 studs in their sleds and then they realize that that's too many, they're never going to pull them out. I recommend that they start low and they can always add more studs. But once you put them in there, they're never coming out. All you do is put longer carbides on and at the end of the day your arms are tired, you're tired. So start out in the middle of the road and then you can always work your way up.